Um, I, I went to the supermarket the other day and I got recognised. It sometimes happens to me, not on Husey's level. Usually I get people who think we've been to school together um, or someone will go, are you famous? Uh, to which I go, well, no, not, not if you have to ask. <laughs> But I got recognised by a guy, I was in the car park, putting my groceries in the boot of the car, this guy screams to a halt in his ute, he gets out and he goes, you, I know you, I love you, give me a cuddle. And I did not want to. <laughs> This makes me uh, a weirdo, but I don't like hugging complete strangers. Like, if, you, if you've met me and we've bonded over something, sure, bring it in, or if you're my friend, I'll be all up on your shit like a professional koala. <laughs> I do not want to hug a complete stranger. And so I went, oh, no, 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 thanks. And also, he'd, he'd use the word cuddle, which is too intimate. It's too intimate. Like, to me, you only cuddle someone that you've had sex with or that you've made. <laughs> and so he goes, no, no, give me a cuddle. And I went, no, no, you're right. And he goes, no. Give me a cuddle. And I don't want to sound judgmental, but he was a little bit methy. <laughs> like he had that kind of wiry fitness that only comes from vibrating all the time. <laughs> and so at that point, I mean, it's just gonna be safer if I cuddle him. And so we embraced each other and it went on for long enough that I thought, oh, do I just belong to him now? <laughs> and eventually he left and it had made his day and it fucked mine. <laughs> I just don't think you should demand that people hug each other. Like, it's like with little kids as well. I went to a friend's house the other day. She's got a two-year-old. At the end of the visit, she went, go and give Auntie Cal a hug. And I was like, no, don't. I'm not her aunt, unless my brother has some interesting news for me and his wife. But I'm like, she doesn't know who I am. To her, I look like I'm 90 and I smell of damp. Because adults are terrifying to young children. I remember having to go and visit my Aunt Hildreth, and I was convinced she had been there for the opening day sale at the pyramids. Looking back, she was probably 35. But I was like, don't make this little kid hug someone they don't want to. Like, give them bodily autonomy. And also, how do you know that I want to touch it? <laughs> I've owned a toddler and they are sticky. Like, you look at a small child and you go, that's cute. And I go, ugh, residue. <laughs> but my point stands, don't teach your small child that they have to touch someone they don't want to. Otherwise, they'll just end up as a middle-aged woman hugging a junkie in a car park. <laughs> You know, yesterday at a cafe, a guy went, Cal, can I shake your hand? And it was so lovely, I could have hugged him. <laughs> I've also just referred to myself as a middle-aged woman, I realise. Um, it's true, I I've come to terms with the fact that I'm middle-aged. I know I'm middle-aged because I own bifocals and I wear a statement necklace. <laughs> and that statement is, please don't look at my neck. Cat died recently, and I wanted to be really honest with my son. I wanted to tell him the truth that the cat had died. I didn't want to do the whole, I'm sorry, darling, Sooty's gone to live on the farm. He's gone to live on the farm. He's gone to live on the farm. I didn't want to do that to him. But I was also curious, what do farmers' kids get told? <laughs> sorry, darl, Rusty's gone to work in the city as a barista. <laughs> and a woman in my audience once, she put her hand up, she goes, I grew up on a farm. And I went, what did your parents tell you? And she goes, we got told they got lost down the back paddock. And I went, how was that? And she goes, well, I got lost down the back paddock one night and I was shitting myself. 